Punky. Bro, homies. Welcome to the party. Off the Molly the Lean. I'm trying to get in that Rari. Punky. Punky. Monkey. It's $204 million. Now, what you prefer digital currency for this exchange? Have a fiver? No. It's crypto only, mate. For potatoes? And onions. <laughs> I'm buying an un... I'm buying... I'm, I am buying right now unloved crypto assets. Who brought you Punke? Who brought you Pepe? I brought you Pepe three days into its existence. Year of the Rabbit. I didn't even know. I was wondering why I was doing so well with Pepe. Like, damn, I really got, I really did good with this Pepe. But obviously, right? I mean, I'm, I'm doing the Pepe King. Pepe. I mean, straight up. I mean, bros. I mean, who brought you besides me? I mean, come on. I've been doing this shit since like, tw since like 2020, bros. I mean, dude, look. Like, I got Pepe memes for days. And caught that on the third day of existence. Anyone who bought is in the money. Punke, we started buying it at four cents. Found out about it at a penny. It's at forty cents. All all the shit that happened. Solana. Oh no, it's it's all over, you guys. It, like this. Look at this little drop. This wasn't even the drop that happened recently. This was. So it dropped. It wicked low to thirty two cents. Went back up. N Bros. Just saw my Bitcoin if it's man me sign. No, I mean, look, I look, and I'm gonna get to my. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to like why I called it why we hodl, because I really do believe in. I really do believe in Bitcoin. Um, but uh, you know, it's the sort of thing. Where, like I believe in Bitcoin super long term. Like it's, it's a savings account. I think this Bitcoin and Ethereum are like long term, where you should keep a lot of like your wealth in terms if you're really in this game. Now I, that's beside unless you have a whale. I mean, unless you've gained this really crazy position in hex or in this pulse, like it once, you, like I'm not talking about selling those bags, but I'm talking long term, like ha having Bitcoin and Ethereum outside of if, if Bitcoin and Ethereum go to zero, the whole industry is fucking fucked for like six years plus, right? It's how you stay rich forever. I mean, it's basically like owning real estate. Like what we're doing a little bit. Let's just be honest, right? Let's see what we're doing. When we're buying some of these undervalued assets, we are gentrifying the neighborhood. Hey, I'm entering the Ponke scene. I like it here. And then, you know, we, we're buying we're buying a couple chateaus, more like shacks, making them the chateaus. And then as people come in, I sell these properties off, and then I have all this extra wealth, and then I go gentrify somewhere else. And then I bring my wealth back and buy prime real estate, the BTC, the Ethereums. And then like, oh, fuck, we're about to crash. You know, sit on cash like Warren Buffett, let the market crash, then buy the most pristine, best real estate assets on the planet. Which is Bitcoin and Ethereum. Bought that bitch at fifteen thousand five hundred. Bought that bitch at eight hundred dollars. Still sitting in profit. Everything's in the money. Just about everything's in the money. Of course, some of the more recent, not ever all your DCAs are going to be in the money, but we try to. We buy when it's red. We buy when it's red. Compramos cuando es rojo, no cuando es verde. People only want to buy when it's green. People only want to buy green. People want to buy tops. That tells me they're power bottoms. Why are you buying tops? Are you a bottom? Huh? Hey? Hey, huh? Like, what, what, what are we doing? Like, what, like Miguel, I, I, I want to buy for sure things, and that's why you make no for sure money. He who risks it gets the biscuit. And he who hesitates masturbates. These are celestial... Facts should be in the this should be in the Bible with King David Solomon. I get giddy when it's red. I'm a bull. When I see red, I get bullish. The Toro. What are we talking about here, you guys? <laughs> 